Welcome to Jen's Daily Dish. Today is a very special episode. I've added a new book to my collection, Paul Hollywood's How to Bake. For those of you who don't know who Paul Hollywood is, he is one of the hosts of the Great British Baking Show. He is fabulous. He is a bread expert. And I am trying out his soda bread recipe. Why the soda bread recipe? because I can add anything I want in it. Possibilities are endless. It does not use yeast. It only uses baking soda for the leavening process. You mix it together, you throw it in the oven, and magic, you have freshly baked bread in just about an hour. Who knew Paul Hollywood did? I'm also making it because don't go changing by adding yeast in you do just fine on your own oh i love you just the way you are with baking soda the recipe is in the metric system Thankfully, I have a scale, and so that has made things easier, but I'm going to convert it into cups for everybody else who doesn't use the metric system, i.e. all you people in the United States like me. You can make this bread on its own with no add-ins, but I have decided to add cheddar and bacon in. Mmm, yum. Before you get started, don't forget to preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius, which is the same as 392 degrees Fahrenheit. 500 grams of plain white, which Paul Hollywood considers cake flour, in here, which is also three and a quarter cups. Three and a quarter cups, cake flour. One teaspoon baking soda or bicarbonate of soda one teaspoon salt. Paul Hollywood doesn't say to mix this all together, but I'm going to anyway, because I know this from other recipes, it's better to distribute any ingredients that you have first. I shredded about a cup and three quarters of cheddar. Again, you can add in whatever you like. Five broken up pieces of bacon. I'm going to mix this all together. 400 milliliters or one and three quarter cups of buttermilk. This is what's going to make the reaction happen with that baking soda. It's that acid and the baking soda mixed together that make the magic happen. Mixed together just slightly. Turn out on a lightly floured surface. Shape it quickly as instructed into a ball. It's okay if it is wet. Paul Hollywood actually likes his dough nice and wet and moist. Okay, it's roughly into a ball. I'm gonna move it over onto my baking sheet which has the parchment paper down. I'm gonna flatten the ball a little bit with my hands. I am going to cut through into four quadrants, but I'm not going to cut all the way through, so just a partial cut here. More like big indentations that go almost down to the bottom. Bake for 30 minutes. It should sound hollow on uh, when you tap the bottom of it. It should be a nice golden brown, but I'm also going to check the temperature because I've learned that helps. Time's up. I'm going to take it out. It's a nice golden brown. I'm going to do the thumping hollow test. But it sounds hollow. You want your bread to sound hollow, so I'm going to go ahead and move it over to cool for a little bit, but look how beautiful that looks. 
and it smells delicious with the cheddar and the bacon. I can't wait to try it. In inspection time, it smells heavenly. I can smell the bacon first and then the cheese. That's exactly what you want. Uh, the bread is a nice golden brown. You can see the pieces of cheddar and the pieces of bacon coming through. Mm, let's taste it. Look how lovely this looks. You can see the bacon and the cheddar throughout. Just delicious. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Cheddar and bacon. Seriously, what's not to like? This is delicious. It came together in under an hour and you're done. You can add in any ingredients you want. I could have added in olives, sun-dried tomatoes, onions. Possibilities are endless. This is fantastic. You can tell that it is a heavier, denser bread than a yeasted bread would be because it would have more air pockets in it. But it is simply delicious. Serve this for dinner, lunch. Heck, you could make a breakfast version. <gasps> I like that idea. Mm. I want to personally thank Paul Hollywood for a fantastic recipe that I changed up a little bit with cheddar and bacon. Mm. Do I get a handshake? If I can do this for the very first time, you can too. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check me out on Instagram at Jen's Daily Dish and more.